So you're thinking about moving to Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys, and more specifically, Fishersville, Virginia. Well, in this video, I'm gonna take you on a map tour of Fishersville and show you what some of the things are in Fishersville and some of its neighborhoods as well. And if you hang around till the end of the video, I've got some census information about Fishersville and a current market analysis, a market report about Fishersville, and you definitely don't wanna miss out on that. And we're gonna get started right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Virginia from its beautiful mountains to its valleys, then click on that subscribe button and touch that bell so you can be the first to be notified about all the market information in Virginia from its beautiful mountains to its valleys. Hi, my name's Stephen Gleason along with my wife and partner Leslie and we get phone calls and emails every day from folks just like you who are looking to make a move to Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, just pick up the phone and give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. The information's all in the description down below and we'll be happy to help you make your move to Virginia as smooth as possible. So as I mentioned today, I'm gonna to take you on a map tour of Virginia. So let's just go ahead and I'm gonna share my screen with you and let's get started. So as you can see here in Virginia, you can see the town of Fishersville. And Fishersville is about 20 square miles, a little less than 20 square miles, kind of got some weird boundaries, I guess you could say around it. As you can see on the eastern side, it borders up against the town of Waynesboro. And matter of fact, sometimes you'll even find Waynesboro mailing addresses inside the, this boundary of Fishersville. And same way with Stanton over here on the western side, you'll see some sometimes over in this part in the Wilson area, uh, you'll see some of those addresses as well. Uh, the little bit about the history of Fishersville. Uh, Fishersville, you can actually see it on some maps back as early as 1738. But about 1788 is when it kind of really got its name from a family that bought 273 acres there. And you can imagine their name was the Fishers. And of course, it was named after them. And matter of fact, many of uh, their generations still live here in Augusta County in the in the Shenandoah Valley area. So a little bit about the history. So as we look at some of the major transportation areas, of course, we've got Interstate 81, which runs north and south about five minutes away from uh, Stanton. And uh, that'll take you all the way up into um, uh, north of Syracuse, New York, as, as a matter of fact, and it'll take you down to Knoxville, Tennessee. So large portion, portion of the eastern seaboard that's covered by that. And then you have going east-west, of course, we've got our Interstate 64, which comes down and then it cuts down just a little further south. It cuts all the way out and it goes to St. Louis, Missouri, the east rest route. If we zoom in just a little bit, there's a couple major roads that go through town and um, we'll take a look at those. One of those roads is Tinkling Springs Road and you can see this particular road right here kind of comes right through the center of town and a real pretty road, especially south of town, some really nice views there. And of course, uh, Long Meadows Road, which goes north. Those are the two main roads that go through town uh, if you're looking just to go somewhere off the beaten path and off the main interstate. Um, when we're talking about our uh, neighborhoods that we looked at, if you take a look in the uh, blog video that I did a few days ago, you'll be able to see some of the neighborhoods that we uh, talked about over here. The Wilson neighborhood, uh, we looked at Fair Oaks subdivision over here in this in this neighborhood. We saw some different townhouses in this neighborhood uh, from about $250,000 range to about the $325,000 range. One of the neat things about them is they had uh, garages along with them. Uh, another place that we looked at was what I called the heart of Fishersville, and that's the Teverton neighborhood right here. And uh, most of the houses in the Teverton neighborhood are great family houses, and they run anywhere from about 375,000 to 575, 80,000, from the upper threes to the uh, upper fives is where they run as far as pricing is concerned. And then we looked at the Village Green at the lake right here in this area. And we saw houses, we had, again, we had townhouses in here uh, that match very well with the single family homes that are in the neighborhood as well. And those uh, townhouses range from about 300,000 to 400,000. And then the single family homes range anywhere from uh, the upper threes to about $750,000. 
So you can see all three neighborhoods in that particular video is kind of spread all across uh, across Fishersville. So you get an idea uh, about a little bit about kind of the area itself. Looking again at some of the, uh, when we talk about uh, shopping centers, uh, uh, there's not a whole lot of shopping right in Fishersville. You have to go to Waynesboro over here, or you have to go to Stanton on this side to get more shopping. Of course, it's very convenient. It's only five, 10 minutes away to get there, but you need to pick up uh, some groceries. There's a food lion right here in town that you can get to uh, down on this side of town as well. Uh, there's uh, there's uh, a few stores as well, including a um, uh, like a 7-Eleven, which is a brand new 7-Eleven, which has like almost a grocery store in it. So kind of kind of neat there as well. Uh, the other thing is pretty much where you're going to find a lot of restaurants and where you're going to find a lot of shops is right along the Highway 250 corridor here. And the Highway 250 corridor, you're going to find things like uh, different types of Mexican, several Mexican restaurants. There's a Chinese restaurant there as well. And if we zoom in here a little bit, just a neat little place here in town, uh, Fishersville Lunchbox and Farm Market. And uh, it's a neat little place. They've got uh, hamburgers and sandwiches and things like that in there. They've got some breakfast stuff as well. And they've got uh, different wines that you can uh, uh, purchase in there as well. But like I say, just kind of a, a tip a farmer's market uh, slash uh, little restaurant. Kind of get an idea, stop by and during lunch hours and grab a bite to eat. Just a kind of a neat little place to um, neat little place to go to. One of the other kind of neat places in town is the Wilson Workforce Rehabilitation Center. And uh, up here in the Wilson neighborhood, up near where the high school and the middle school and the elementary school are, the um, Woodrow Wilson, uh, it was a Woodrow Wilson Army Hospital during World War II, obviously tending to the needs of servicemen during that time. After the war there, it was transformed into a rehabilitation center, focusing especially on handicapped and handicapped needs. Uh, it, it provides vocational training, and today their mission is to provide people with disabilities a comprehensive individualized services um, to help them realize their independence uh, through employment. So kind of a really neat place uh, here in the Fishersville area. Uh, another thing that's really that's coming to Fishersville, as a matter of fact, it's going to open this spring, is we have an Amazon warehouse, which is going to employ over 500 people in the area. So we talk about an area that's growing. Uh, this is certainly an area that's growing, and it's going to be just off of I-64 right here uh, off Tinkling Springs Road. And uh, like I said, going to offer 500 new jobs in the area. Um, of course, one place I want to also show as well, uh, and you can see it right here, is Augusta Health Center. Uh, Augusta Health Center, I, and I talk about that in my vlog video as well. You can look at that video. But uh, it's an award-winning hospital. It's a regional hospital. It's a combination of Waynesboro and Stanton together. And uh, they've combined forces to produce a really good hospital with a lot of doctor's offices around the area. And again, uh, take a look at the uh, vlog video to learn more about some of the awards that it's won and some of the special services that it provides. One of the other things I want to talk about real quick is the uh, the community as a whole. And I'll pop up this slide right here. You can see that according to niche.com, Fishersville, according to the residents here in the area, believe it to be the best place to raise a family in all of Augusta County. And uh, I'd say they're pretty accurate with that. Like I mentioned in the blog video, there's a lot of homes, especially in the Tiverton area, that are really geared towards single families and uh, with four bedrooms, that type of thing. So, uh, and as far as the schools go, overall, uh, the schools, the three Wilson schools, elementary, junior high, and, and middle school and high school, they receive a B, a, a B plus, a B rating overall. And uh, you can see some of the different ones here. The um, uh, the, the, the elementary school, the middle school, and the high school itself, you can see where some of their grades are and where some of their focus is. And you can check out more of that information on niche.com uh, about the schools. Another additional thing is talking about internet. That's always a big question when a lot of people move out. There are multiple internet services here in the area, probably one of the largest and one of the ones with the most speed is Xfinity. So if you were to move into the Fishersville area, you would have no problem as far as high speed internet is concerned. As far as parks go, if you're going to look at, if you're going to look at uh, wanting to go to a park, there are not a whole lot of parks in Fishersville. There's a, a park in the Wilson area, which um, is 
uh, some baseball diamonds there, some tennis courts. But uh, you're going to have to move on over. You're going to have to go to Stanton where there's multiple parks. I've talked about that in other videos. And Waynesboro has a lot of multiple parks as well. Of course, you're always about 20 minutes right up the road here. You've got the Shenandoah Valley. Um, excuse me. You have the Appalachian Trail here in the Shenandoah Valley uh, along all along the ridge in the, in the Blue Ridge Mountains. And uh, I could say 20 minutes away to have some really, really great hikes. Um, as far as golf courses, I always bring that up because, as you can see, that's one of my favorite things is, is golf and had a chance to go and play some good courses somewhere. And there's there's no courses in um, Fishersville per se. You're going to have to go into the other towns. But there is a little par three course, and it's called it's called a Waynesboro Game, Golf and Games LLC. And uh, it's just in the, inside the border here, inside of... Um, side of Fishersville sits it sits in this area right about here and uh, let me just pop it in here real quick and I'll, I'll talk about um, Waynesboro Golf and Games. There you go and like see, you can see from the pictures there's a little bit of a putt-putt there uh, they got some arcade games inside and then they have a par three golf a par three golf course out back as well which I've played several times and it's just a really neat place to go and play. So Another thing I'd like to talk about is ski resorts. You have Massanutten Ski Resort about 35 minutes uh, to the north of Fishersville. And that is a Four Seasons Resort. And um, it is something that will have golf in the summertime and has a water slide for the kids uh, all year round. And that's right here in Massanutten. If you want to go about 35 minutes south, you come down to here to Wintergreen Resort, which also has two golf courses like Massanutten does. And of course it has some great skiing there as well. Both of them have uh, homes and condos, townhouses, things like that, that you can purchase should you desire to live in those areas as well. Uh, as far as some other restaurants in town, I wanna to talk a little bit about, um, talk about some wineries. Uh, we have Barren Ridge Winery and Bering Ridge is the premier destination in all of Augusta County. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Barren Ridge, um, the vineyards, they uh, have won gold at the Virginia's Governor Cup and it's the best in show at the State Fair. Another really neat thing about um, Barren Ridge as well is they have a lot of different types of entertainment, music, and, and things like that to, for the community to come out and to be involved in and, and to enjoy. and. Uh, and this, this is also part of the Shenandoah Valley Wine Trail as well. So should you want to go to more than one vineyard, which if you like wine, you probably will. Um, if you like breweries, back in the middle of town in Waynesboro, uh, we have the Seven Arrows Brewery. And the Seven Arrows Brewery, um, Seven Arrows Brewery is uh, known for its different types of craft beer. It's a family owned visit. And uh, if you're looking for a brewery right in Fishersville, you would have that available as well. Maybe you have a desire to get your pilot's license. Well, in Fishersville, we actually have a, a small airport here where that is done. They teach, they teach uh, flight lessons there, and they also have planes that you can rent. I'd recommend you get your flight le lessons before you rent the plane. I'm sure they'll probably make sure of that, but those are available for you here, right here at the Eagle's Nest Airport. It's a small little thing right in Fishersville. So uh, as far as all the arts and culture go, you're gonna have to go into, again, Stanton and Waynesboro. Um, and Stanton and Waynesboro, we've got multiple theaters in, in, in Stanton and in Waynesboro, we have some as well. That's where you're gonna get a lot of arts and culture. If you um, are looking for special events, there's the Augusta Expo Center, and it's just south of town, uh, right on the other side of the interstate, right here, as you can see. Um, the Augusta Expo Center is going to host things like um, they're going to have an arts and crafts festival, they're going to have farm shows, uh, they're going to have a sports show, they're going to have gun shows as well. So a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of um, different shows at the Augusta Expo Center. And that's also where the county fair takes place as well. Um, so those are some of the things of, of, of Fishersville and kind of where some of the things are located in Fishersville. And as you can see, Fishersville, uh, between Stanton and Waynesboro, if you wanted to go outside of the area, you got about 45, excuse me, about 35 minutes to get to uh, Charlottesville. 
um, and uh, over over on the other side of the mountain, as we say. And um, if you want to go all the way up to, if you're going to go all down into Richmond, you're talking about an hour and a half to get down in here to the Richmond area. And if you want to go further out yet, and you want to go all the way down to Virginia Beach. We're talking about three hours, a little over three hours to get to Virginia Beach. At the same time, if you need to catch a plane, you can catch a plane in Charlottesville, about 35, 40 minutes away. But if you want to use a budget carrier like Southwest or Spirit, you're going to have to go up into the Northern Virginia area and Dulles Airport is about two hours and 15 minutes away and Reagan National is about um, two and a half hours away. So kind of gives you an idea where you are in location to some of the places as far as, the, uh, as, far as travel is concerned. Oh, wait a minute, I almost forgot. If you look right here, one of the cool things about the Fishersville area is the amount of horse farms that it has, whether it's riding or riding lessons. So it's all around the Fishersville area. So I did want to leave that out. So now back to our regularly scheduled program. So at the beginning of the video, I told you that I was going to take you and share with you a little bit about the census information in um, in Fishersville as well. So. As you can see here, Fishersville uh, has about 9,629 residents, and there's a little significance of that because back in the 2000, just 20 years earlier, it had 4,998 residents. So it's almost doubled in the last 20 years, and it, it continues to grow. As I said, they're adding an Amazon uh, warehouse in the area, and the area really is just growing with houses and with housing, and there's a lot of new builds in the area, as well as houses that are between 10, 15, 20 years old as well. Um, the other uh, neat statistic about this is that 67 excuse me, 60 cent, 6 percent of the homes in Fishersville are owner occupied. That's a little higher than the national average here in the across the United States, which gives for a good solid uh, base as far as home ownership is concerned in the area. And if you're looking for an urban area, Fishersville is probably not the place that you want to be. The population per square mile is about 486, 487 people per square mile. Uh, and so if you get over to Charlottesville, as a matter of fact, you're looking at uh, 4,500 people, even in Waynesboro and Stanton, you're looking at seeing the several thousands. And so, but if you're looking for that kind of nice bedroom community, kind of quiet neighborhoods, uh, Fishersville is a fantastic neighborhood for you to live in. So that being said, I kind of want to go over a, just a market report with you here. And uh, I'm going to pull up a slide here, which shows the average home prices in the Fishersville area. And you can see that the average price in Fishersville, and these are homes that were actually sold within the last year, calendar year 2022. Uh, they averaged $381,000. Now that's all of Fishersville, uh, in, in addition to the, just the neighborhoods, of course, that I took you into. Uh, you can see the average two bedroom is going to run you about 235000 three bedroom, about 350000 And then if you're looking for a four bedroom home, most of those are going to be in the 400s or in the $500,000 range. So that again, just kind of gives you an idea. And let's go ahead and this stats will be a little bit different because these are the homes that are on the market right now. And right now, the average price of a home on the market is $408,000 in the Fishersville area. And um, uh, as you can see that the, uh, the homes that they're new to market, we've come through the holiday season now in early January, we're starting to see more homes come back onto the market and that number pop up. So uh, if you're looking for a, just a particular home, let's look at a, a typical family home. This is in the Tiverton neighborhood. And this particular home in the Tiverton neighborhood has some really nice advantages to it. First of all, it backs up against Teverton Park, which is only uh, a park for the property owners in the Teverton neighborhood. Um, <clears throat> this particular house was built in uh, 2000, 2004. It has four bedrooms and two baths. And as you can see, it's priced at $467,000. Uh, if you break that down, uh, the total square footage, a livable square footage in the house right now is 2,620 feet. There is a full basement, which adds another 1,635 feet, uh, square feet of, of space. But the house itself, uh, 2,620 feet, that breaks down to about $178 a square foot. And that's right on about what the average price per square foot in the Fishersville area is. Um, <clears throat> I always like to show some of the pictures here. You can see from the front of the house here and um, 
uh, again, this is looking from the park in the background. The, uh, the, there, you're on almost a half acre of land, 0.45 acres. And you can see there's, there's a picture of the little sliver of park that runs behind there. And there's on down the way a little bit, there's playground equipment and things like that uh, as well. Um, one of the neat things about it, uh, the, <clears throat> the main floor has vaulted ceilings in it. There's a vaulted ceiling. You can look down, you see the balcony area there and um looking down into the area there and then the master bedroom uh, and some of the rooms upstairs they have as you saw there they have the um tray ceilings the recessed ceilings and so kind of kind of just some neat features that you don't get in every house and uh that's available in this particular house the living room has a sunken floor um in it as well and so again just some really neat things about the uh about this particular house and this house again is going to run you about it's on the market for four hundred and sixty seven thousand dollars four bedrooms and two full baths so that's just a few of the things that are in fishersville if you're interested in a property leslie and i would be happy to show you a property in the Fishersville area or Fishersville is not your style, then Stanton, Waynesboro, Stewart's Draft, Charlottesville, Harrisonburg, Lexington, any of the towns around here in the area or any of the ski resorts, Leslie and I have sold homes in those places. We'll be happy to help you find a home. So uh, it's, that's what our mission is and our goal is to have satisfied uh, homeowners uh, helping people find the home that they'd like to be in. So. Like I say, whether you're looking to move in nine days, 90 days, or you want information about the area, you know, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. As a matter of fact, in, in our YouTube page there, you can see there, you can even just schedule a Zoom link and we'll meet you on Zoom face-to-face -face in person. And uh, we'll be happy to show you those homes. And then if you come into the area, or if you're in the area, we'll be happy to take you to those homes that you're interested in as well. So. Like I say, uh, it's a beautiful place. Fishersville is a great place for families and a great place for a lot of homes. And so if you're interested, give us a call. But until next time, we'll see you around town.